300, what's the deal? You should fuck shock at the urban philosophy. Wanted to share my thoughts with y'all real quick. You know, man, one thing that I see a whole lot across the internet is a lot of you dudes talking about if it wasn't the internet, if it wasn't for the internet, you know what I'm saying? The internet is protecting you, yada, yada, yada. And I wanted to address that, you know, cause I see this a lot. I even seen it in uh, a little clubhouse thing with WAC 100. He was talking to some New York dudes. But I want to say this, man, listen, if you were somebody that's from the streets and you were actually dealing with a certain part of the streets, cause everybody that's from the hood, that don't mean that they were a part of hood politics like that. And if they were, that don't mean that they all were a part of the same politics. You know, if you was a nigga um, out there in the hood hustling DVDs, selling oranges and stuff, you weren't, you weren't into no heavy street shit like somebody else was. Even if you was out there in the pimping, okay, you weren't into certain street shit like other people were. Pimps don't fight. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. They do not fight. And if they do, they might fight among each other. But in my experience, I've never seen pimps to really be fighting like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you'll you'll have that, or uh, you'll you'll even have the type of people that were born in the hood, but you know they still had a good family. They they stayed in that gated home and they had to get their ass in when they when they got out of school or whatever. You had these various different people. But if you were somebody that that was uh living within the politics of the of, of the streets where you know what i'm saying people were dying you know what i'm saying that it gets down to that people fighting over different things sets uh different various things you know that today man it's a blessing today what we're able to do you know we can kind of come to the uh we can come online and we can share our opinion and you got to use your head about how you're going to address that person. You know, that's a blessing today. We needed this a long time ago. You know, and so a lot of you niggas talking that brute shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all the reason why dusty shit happens offline behind what goes on online. Some some shit started online about some hearsay. And, and, and it's taken offline and it, it turns into some deadly shit or something like that. That shit's silly. Now, I understand that... <laughs> If somebody brought some some offline politics online, maybe you go online, start snitching or something about some street shit online. That's different. But most of these cases, OK, all right, are not like that. A lot of you dudes are seeing uh, dudes sitting online and they're versing you various different ways. And because you niggas can't win in this arena, you want to start talking about shit that don't even have a target that would never even fucking happen anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I was just talking to y'all about this WAC 100 thing. And he was uh, on a clubhouse or something talking to some New York cats. Who was pretty much telling him that he can't speak on them because they from New York. This is the silliest shit ever to hear today. We live in the age of information and internet. The world is way much smaller. Okay. But, you know, what was funny was in that video... Uh, on that session he ended up telling them well i got houses in new york so basically telling them that nigga i be in new york anyway a lot of you niggas be talking that old silly shit about if it was offline a lot of you niggas got it like that in the age of covid you niggas ain't about to cop no tickets okay and go go let nobody know hey i'm standing here in your city not on no rap nigga commercial shit okay that's not that's not even something that you niggas about to do so, uh, I mean, it don't even make sense to even bring that to the table because if you were challenged to do it, okay, if you were challenged to do such a thing, you are not going to make that happen. And so I just want to go ahead and say that, man, we need to keep that dusty shit on, on, on somewhere else, man. You know what I'm saying? That shit's dusty and this shit ain't going to change. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the internet is going to become more prominent. So you niggas sitting around here talking about, man, if we was in real life, man, we was in real life, man, y'all need to get on down the road with that bedrock ass shit, okay? Because the truth is, if you was in real life, you niggas wouldn't do nothing. Most of you niggas ain't even gonna address the person that you, th that you got a problem with online. 
AKA, you're not gonna tag their name. You ain't gonna bring it straight to their door, but you gonna do something about it online. Nigga, please. Offline. <laughs> Nigga, please, all right? Go ahead and hit that uh, like button, y'all. Hit that sub button and that bell. Cause we dropping shit you gonna like. It's your folks, y'all got the Urban Philosophy.